Hello students. Today we are going to study about field visit which is the first chapter in standard 10. Come, let's begin. Importance of field visit. Before that, you must know what actually field visit is. In my first point on the screen, you can see field visit is an important study method in geography. Now, we have been learning geography down the years, which has explained us so many things, be it the city, be it the density, where there is density, the less, some, somewhere the density is less, somewhere the density is more. We also have studied about the human settlements, etc. All these we have because we have studied it in our geography textbooks. That is, we have proper bookish knowledge. But if we personally visit the place, it makes us understand better. That is why it is called as field visit. It is a practical study in geography. Geographical concepts and elements can be directly experienced through field visit. Let's talk about black soil and red soil. In some states, black soil is available and in some states, red soil is available. How do we come to know that? Unless we move to that particular area or we go and visit the place. Then only we understand better that this particular state has black soil and some states have red soil. Field visits are extremely useful for understanding the correlation between humans and environment. This point tells us better about the relation between human and environment. Let's take an example of Rajasthan. There it's very hot and we talk about Kashmir where there is very cold. In Rajasthan people wear cotton clothes because the heat is unbearable and in Kashmir people wear woolen clothes because there the cold is unbearable. So all these we study in our textbooks but we study it better if we personally visit the place. That is why field visit is an important study method in geography. You can see the pictures of fields over here. In the first picture and in the second picture, both the pictures are showing you fields. You can see the vastness, the space it has. It also teaches us that more the space, more the water will be used. In the second picture you will be looking at, there are houses which have flat roofs because there are less, because there is less rainfall. So in this way we study fields also. In the hilly areas you can see that in the hilly area there is less land for agriculture. Some houses have flat roofs and some houses have steep roofs. In this area there is moderate rainfall. Moderate means not very high and not very low. Crops of every area will be different. There is one similarity that is the number of people staying in these two areas are less. Let's look at the picture which gives you an idea where there is heavy rainfall. As the rainfall is very high, the water should drain out quickly. That is why the roof are steep which help the water to flow easily. The house in the second picture is found in Konkan part of Maharashtra. You can see the roof of the house is very steep which helps the water to flow down easily. This is a picture showing you density where there is less density. Look at the first picture in that you will be 
looking that the house is quite mod this is a picture of abroad countries where there is less population compared to the picture i am showing you now here you will see the density of houses or the population is more we can experience such kind of house in mumbai too example kum kurla mumra etc where the population is quite high and they stay very close to each other this is it shows us or it gives us an example of more density or more population let's take the example of red soil in the picture i have provided you two pictures which shows the picture of red soil there are some places in maharashtra where there is red soil red soil can easily be seen but if we visit the place or the state we will understand better about red soil now in the picture i have given you example some states which have red soils are tamil nadu orissa chatisgarh chota nagpur that is jharkhand these are the states having red soil and the example of the red soil the crops like wheat rice pulses cotton these are the examples of black soil now let's begin with black soil in black soil different types of crops are grown compared to red soil field visit gives us a conclusion about the practical knowledge of the soil states like maharashtra gujarat karnataka madhya pradesh have black soil and examples are cotton tobacco chilies these are some crops which grows in black soil this is a very important question explain with examples how field visit increase geographical knowledge i have already given you in the introduction that field visit is an important study method in geography it means visit to different places having different locations climate and landforms geographical concepts and elements can be directly experienced through field visits these are extremely useful for understanding the correlation between human and environment already i have covered the explanation of these three points in my introduction the fourth point geographical field visit is organized for the study of various elements example physical landforms rivers banks dams coastal areas tourism sites offices or museums related to geographical elements villages forests etc field visit also helps us to understand the region in a meaningful manner in a field visit we observe geographical factors we try to understand we collect the facts also information and then analyze the same this helps us to develop observation skills as well as analytical ability we also develop the aptitude of comparing two different regions having distinct geographical conditions i have already given you an example of rajasthan and kashmir so this points proves the example well it also provides us opportunities to interact with people and through it we get a chance to know the social conditions of the region for example if i want to go to maharashtra's place or you can say if any hill station if i am going to mahabaleshwar over there the social conditions will be totally different where we are staying we get to know more about the people when we talk to them that is why interaction with people will help us to understand their culture food and also clothes if i am going to rajasthan over there the culture the food and the clothing habits will be totally different compared to maharashtra field visit also helps us to develop the skill to compare the environment of different regions i have already covered this point we must prepare a sample questionnaire now what do you mean by a questionnaire yes it's a set of questions that is prepared 
to collect information and then carry out surveys. Example, visit to hilly terrain will help us to understand that the hilly areas are full of relief and steep slopes. This is what I have already explained to you. They have a variety of natural vegetation and wildlife. Different kind of natural vegetation, this different kind of wildlife, there are different animals. Everything will be understood better if we personally visit the place. That is why field visit is very important. Generally, the population is sparse in such areas. One gets to know how the life in hilly terrain is different from other areas only through visits to such place. In this, field visit plays an important role. Next question, what items will you take with you for field visit? Now, this the answer is given to you in your 9th standard textbook. I have given you some points over here. Let's read and understand. For a field visit, you should carry a notebook. Why a notebook? So that you jot down the points. Some specimen questionnaire as questionnaire plays a major role in answering it. Pen and pencil as I told you with a notebook you need to have a pen and a pencil so that you jot down the points. Scale a tape, compass. Why a compass? So that you get to know the direction, whether it's in north, south, east or west. A bag for collecting your samples. Maps, which will give you clear idea about that place. Camera to take the snaps or click the pictures of the place. And food to eat. That is why these are the things which are very essential for your field visit. I have prepared a questionnaire from standard 8 textbook. Let's see. Prepare a questionnaire for field visit. Now this is a visit to the election divisions office at the taluka and district level. These are some sets of questions. Name the office. What is the designation of the chief at this office? What are the different duties performed by this office? Who directs the work? carried out in the election division which are the various election conducted through this office from where do they get the additional manpower required during elections how many days prior to elections is the notice given who does the work of enlisting new voters and updating the electoral lists who conducts the training programs for the elections which are the licenses issued by the office during elections how many people are appointed at the polling center during voting? When is the voting of the officials appointed for election duty taken and how? What are the timings of the voting? Is the timing of voting extended under special circumstances? What efforts are taken to make the process of voting transparent? What are the disadvantages and advantages of voting machine that is the EVM? How are voting machines obtained? Since when are the voting machines being used? Now these were some sets of questions and a questionnaire can be taken. Now that was an example that was taken from standard 8 textbook. Now let's take this one of the important give reasons. It is important to manage the waste generated during field visit. Again the first point is repeating. Field visit is an important study method in geography. Geographical field visit is organized for the study of various elements, example physical landforms, rivers, banks, dams, coast areas, tourism sites, offices and museums related to the geographical elements, villages, forests, areas etc. After reaching the field we should observe various features with utmost care. Yes, now it begins from here. Once you reach that place, you have to take a lot of care and a lot of precautions that our visit does not harm the environment of the place we are visiting because we are just a guest to that place. So we have no rights to harm or destroy that place. It is important to manage the waste generated during the field visit as it may harm the biodiversity of the region. Now, how can you harm the biodiversity? by throwing your waste here and there. It can be the 
the wafer wrappers and all that thing which you throw it can harm the biodiversity now how the biodiversity can be harmed the animals can eat the waste which you have thrown and if they are unable to digest it they may die that is how we are harming the biodiversity of the region so we must take precautions in doing all these things excessive use of plastic and other non disposable material other non disposable material means the materials which do not dispose that is why we are supposed to carry with us disposable materials which can be easily disposed now if we do not carry the disposable things it will be a visit or it can be a threat to the local environment nature gifted places should be kept intact free of waste especially plastic littering with participation of local people now there may be some localites who will help you understand the place because they are the local people of that particular area so if you need any help you can ask them and definitely these people are very honest and very friendly they will really help you out the waste thrown during field visit can be consumed by animals and aquatic life and it may be fatal for them as i told you the waste which we human are throwing if the animals consume and if they don't digest it it can be fatal for them we should also ensure that we do not harm the environment in any way during your visit waste like lighted cigarettes of course the the students will not do it but if any other people outsiders or the strangers go on to the field or any field visit if they light a cigarette or a matchstick it can easily catch up the dry forest and the entire forest can be in a mess and it can be an uncontrollable forest fire forest fires are the single most important cause of destruction of many species at once therefore we also harm the biodiversity in that way so we should manage the waste generated during the field visit let's outline the importance of field visit the field visit is an important method of geography through field visit trips one can get a first hand experience of geographical factors and processes geographical concepts and elements can be directly experienced through field visits geographical field trips useful for understanding the correlation between human and environment it is important to plan the field trips according to the tropic place and duration of the visit geographical field visit is organized for the study of various elements example physical landforms river banks dams coastal areas tourism sites offices or museums related to geographical elements villages forests areas etc we have already covered these points in the prior or in the former uh, uh, slides and i have already given you the explanation actually this chapter is not so very important but then too you need to study few uh, questions which are very important already we have done the first two questions from there field visits are extremely useful for understanding the correlation between human and environment this helps us to develop observation skills as well as analytical ability we also develop the aptitude of comparing two different regions having distinct geographical conditions one of the important objective of a field trip is to pay a visit to an office in order to understand the kind of work done there now for example if we want to visit eward the municipal office over here we personally should go and visit it over there so that we come to know the different kind of departments over there there are sub departments etc and how the people carry on their tasks different type of information are collected during a field trip for this purpose a questionnaire is prepared i have already shown you an example of a questionnaire in my previous slides after compiling the information a report is prepared thank you children i hope you have understood this chapter for your homework please see that you write down answers that are given to you at the end of the chapter goodbye and good luck